Welcome to the Datadesk Quick Start videos. We'll work through the analysis of a simple data set to get you started using Datadesk. You'll find that Datadesk commands all work in much the same way, so once you get started, you'll be able to branch out and try other functions of the program. The data file we'll work with today is a sample of companies from the Forbes 2000 list. The data are in the company's quickstart.txt file. This file is a text file, and you could open it in any word processor or spreadsheet. It holds a data table, like this, with a column for each variable and a row for each case. In these data, a case is a company. We could copy this file and paste it into Datadesk, or we could simply open the text file. You'll see a dialog like this that shows you the top row of the file. Typically, the top row holds variable names, but if not, there are options to let you name the variables or to prompt you to name each variable. You can also specify the delimiter between the columns down here. The default delimiter is tab, and that's the one that's used by all spreadsheets and word processors by default. Well, these are the right variable names, so we'll accept them. Notice that there's no need to make a space for your data. Datadesk creates these icons here to hold the variables. Each variable is represented by an icon. You can open the icons to see the contents. There are the numbers. What we say about data is usually about the variables and not about the individual values. The variables are the nouns of the sentences about data. Datadesk keeps variables in icons in neat rows inside folders. You can make new folders to organize your variables. If these are the nouns, where are the verbs? They are up here in the menus. Take a look through them. Commands to make graphs are in the plot menu. Statistics calculations are in the calc menu. The Manip menu holds data manipulations. The Modify menu holds commands to modify and work with plots. Edit commands edit data. The File menu deals with the world outside the Datadesk environment. The Data menu is like a file menu for the Datadesk desktop with commands to make new variables and folders and work with the ones you have. And the special menu holds a variety of otherwise unclassified special commands. It's a good idea to make a working copy of your Datadesk file. Choose Save Data File As from the File menu and make a copy of your data. When we start up again in the next video, just open the file you've saved. Your saved file will hold not only your data, but all your plots and results, taking you right back to where you left off. Nobody does it like